What's up guys and welcome back to MyFreedomSmokes.com. Keenan here with the Pug from Vaporgate. Also in collab uh, with the Colorado Dolly Mason Dump Tank Alliance Fat Boy, the 99, the Noble. Uh, that's a lot, of, a lot of backing for this guy. And this is the micro USB with uh, all the extra charging ports. You got an iPhone, you got a micro USB, and you got that new, uh, that new charger on the side. I'm not really sure what that one was called, but it's, it's one of the brand new um, kind of USB style charging ports. Um, and then it also comes with this. But before we get into this, let's turn this guy on. One, two, three, four, five. Pugs on. Very bright LED. Um, one thing to take note of, most mods, uh, on the right directional would be your up to wattage. On this one, they have it reversed. I'm not really sure why they did that, but they did that. So uh, keep in mind this this uh, this left one over here, which doesn't bother me too bad, um, is is definitely going to be what's going to bring this up. So I'm going to take this up to 80 watts. This thing's good. It goes all the way to 80. Uh, that's what it's regulated to. Um, so you're going to get all the way up to 80. There we go. I'm running about uh, I'm at 0.15 coil in here. It's a quad. This is the uh, the Vandy vape. Uh, Swell Kits tank that comes with it. I actually like the tank and I like the way it looks on this pug. I think it looks pretty unique. So I'm going to run it like that. Um, got some Treat Factory uh, Lemon Glaze in there, which they no longer make, but I've held on to mine and I love that flavor. Uh, without further ado, hits fantastic. That's a really good hit. Um, definitely just as much power as I would imagine. I'm only half percent charged right now on this battery. This is a pretty good battery. It lasts quite a bit, and again, you get three different ways to charge it. So, I mean, uh, with all those charging ports, um, that kind of makes it pretty convenient. Um, I wouldn't recommend putting them all in there at once, but I'm not sure if that works or not. <laughs> I have not tried that. It probably would. Um, they do. Uh, this is a sample box, so it did not come with a user manual or anything else. So, if I open this up for you guys, you'll see it's completely empty. But what it does come with is the uh, extra charging it you're gonna get like this big wire that has three different ports on it all three that go into here um, that fit in here just like that each one go ahead and show you what that would look like that's all three of those in there at once so you get that uh, and, you, and you do not have to put them all in there at once to charge um, now that being said that is really convenient let's get into some of the specs because my sample box didn't have a uh, user manual and I know that the uh, regular box does, but I have the uh, the original uh, little sample that they gave me. So um, we'll talk a little bit more about what's actually going to be on. So this, this device is five to eighty watts uh, power output, three point nine two volts. It has single setting output mode, twenty three millimeter by seven millimeter OLED screen. So that's a very bright screen. Uh, I love the the. It's super easy to read. Um, it almost reminds me of a Segelli screen from back in the day. Um, vibrant display resolution, so there's definitely you can definitely tell what you're what you're looking at. Icon-based display matrix, battery life indicator, wattage indicator, ohm indicator, voltage indicator, small and compact design, which as you can see it is really small. It's kind of made of a it's a metal um, texture here. Vaporgate did a really good job with the pug. I like it. I like the fact that you can universally charge this however you want if you don't have a uh, micro USB charger at handy, but your friend has an iPhone, great, you can go ahead and charge it. If somebody has that little, that new charger, I think it's like for some of the new Samsungs have this one, um, you can use their charger to charge this thing. Um, and that being said, it's comfortable and easy to use. Triple button operation, one, two, three. Uh, it doesn't really have much, it's like I said, it's <laughs> one, two, three, four, five is gonna turn that guy off and on. Um, integrated battery, uh, so this battery does not come out, of course. Uh, three charging ports as I discussed before USB-C is what that is called and I just remembered that um, The lightning and the micro USB. So this little random one here is what throw me off That's the USB-C charger. So you get that an iPhone charger or lightning charger and your micro USB um, You get a the battery is a 2800 mAh battery. It's powered uh, Pretty well like I said this thing's ran pretty good today And I'm just now on half and it's still hitting pretty good as you can see um, at 8 I'm at full capacity 80 watts here with so this coils regulated to 100 so it should be fine So that's really good um, Zinc alloy Chassis so that is a zinc alloy not just metal that is what they use they use zinc alloy to make this guy So that's pretty good stainless steel 510 threading up top here 
and you're also going to get the gold plated 510 connector uh, with a contact pin. I did try to throw a disposable uh, GoMax tank on this earlier and it was saying check for atomizer. I don't know what was up with that. Uh, every single tank I put on here after that prior tank has worked just fine. I don't know. I wanted to run the, the GoMax disposable with a, a different e-liquid in it, uh, but that didn't work out. Um, so I'm not sure if maybe it was just that one GoMax or, or what was going on with that. I'm going to have to t uh, fiddle around with that a little bit more. Um, and supports up to 24 millimeter atomizers. So as you can see, this is a really tiny one here. Um, it looks really good on this mod. And I think it's really, it's actually a slick looking mod. I actually really like the way it looks. It's got some like alchemy looking writing or uh, kind of an engravement in it as well. Uh, great beginner mod. I think anybody would appreciate this, especially the convenience of being able to charge it anywhere at any time, your car, whatever, with whatever charger. Um, that is, that's definitely a everyone um, kind of thing. Vaporgate usually doesn't disappoint with trying to please everybody usually. So uh, that that's a, that's a good thing. I personally want a little bit more wattage. I know that the battery is tiny and it's compact design, but let's get Let's get a little bit high. Let's get all the way up to 100 watts on something like this. Get a little mod like this. Let's get 100 watts out of it. Uh, that being said, um, overall, I've seen, I don't want to knock this thing too much, but overall, I have seen mods that are slightly similar that uh, they don't have that, that multiple charging port option, which is one of the most convenient things the pug offers. But that being said, uh, more battery life is everything for me when I'm, especially when I'm doing sub owning. So I'm gonna have to give this guy an overall rating of eight. Uh, eight's not terrible. Uh, I'm gonna go right in the middle, um, you know, and and say it's an eight. And the highest we're gonna go would be ten, anyways. Um, I like the fact that if I did throw this across the room, it probably wouldn't hurt it. So that's an awesome thing as well. So anybody can enjoy this mod and pick one up. Um, and give it a shot, uh, advanced or, or or beginners. This is a super simple, uh, straight to the point mod, which is perfect for everyone, um, including myself. I do not hate it by any means. I'm gonna continue to vape this. You guys have a great day. This was my friend of smokes. I'm Keenan. See you later.